I'm Seen, and I'm the executive director of the Baptist Children's Village. I'm a village kid myself. I actually lived here longer than any child in its history. The way that the Baptist Children's Village works is that we have residential programs and we have some non-residential programs. One of our non-residential programs is called Dorcas. If there's a family that's struggling and it looks like it's possible that they may have to be separated, we actually send case managers into a home and we identify whatever that problem is and then we work with the family in that home on that problem. Another non-residential program we have is our Youth Detention Intervention. Mississippi has 17 juvenile detention centers across the state. We are now having a concentrated effort to learn how to create a community around the family whose youth is in detention. So when this youth comes out, now they don't have to go back to the same behaviors and the same things that got them in there in the first place. We have people who call us and we hurt for them. We want to help them, but there are some that we are not equipped to handle. Our Family Referral Resource Program came out of experience and necessity. But we want you to know that if you call the Baptist Children's Village, we're not gonna hang up the phone on you. We have a lot of relationships with a lot of programs and agencies around the state of Mississippi. So if you call us for help and we can't help, we're gonna get you to the people who can help you. Our last non-residential program is our community consulting and training program. What we were receiving was requests from other entities who are engaging the youth in the state of Mississippi, and they're starting to ask the good question. They're starting to ask, why does the child act this way? We are going into these agencies and providing education for them, explaining to them what, how trauma affects the behaviors and the mind of a child. But we all know that sometimes children do have to be removed from their home. In those times, in those limited times, we want to be there to serve also. We don't want the family separated. Our residential program is for those that we needed to separate in order to put them back together stronger. There is a huge misconception that children are placed in homes like ours and they're forgotten. Everything is the old orphan model, like children live in dormitories. There's nothing further from the truth. Don't think dormitory. This house is a home that is housed by loving parents. They do exactly what you did with your kids in your home. That's what we've created. Another way that we serve the entire family is through our domestic violence program. The Baptist Children's Village provides a safe home for these families to come to and provide them with a time of healing time of planning, making sure that they can move forward safely. The thing that has shocked me is the work that goes on at the support center. It's an entire team with the entire state involved. There's an intentionality about the future of every single child and how we get them there. That's why it works. This is an easy question. We exist as part of the Mississippi Southern Baptist Church to take the good news of Jesus Christ to at-risk children and families. We can talk about the how. We can change a child's direction. We can do that, but I understand from my own personal experience, the real change comes in the child's heart. That's the why. That everything surrounds that. That's what gets me out of bed in the morning. That's what keeps me fighting. That's what keeps me going, I'll get it tomorrow.